had to join Toastmasters is so I could work on my breathing because AIMPRO stands for too many long lettered words to say in one breath. <laughs> it stands for Associated Interior Maintenance and Professional Restoration. <laughs> Appreciate your uh, participation in the contest. Our next, Rebecca Crispin. Congratulations. And I believe your thing said no noticeable accomplishments in the last little while. But I know you've had a baby recently. I have. Tell us about your child. Ah. How that's changed your life. <laughs> oh, it's changed my life immensely. <laughs> Little Zachy is two and a half years old and he is very, very cute. And he was a bit of a surprise, let us say. My daughter is 28 years old. Oh, oh my. <laughs> yes, there's a 26 year split between the two kids. So it's like, you know, like your speech of going back to, well, not 18 again, but <laughs> 25 again. <laughs> Congratulations. Can anyone top that in the distance between children? <laughs> oh my goodness. Scott Watson. I wish I had more distance from my children. <laughs> 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 All right. I keep finding it. Classic rock and softball. Now there's a combination. <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> Anything else that are hot? <laughs> Youngster can tell us about those uh, interests. Well, I will say that it's interesting. I'm talking about age and gap. When I first moved to Utah six years ago, I got a job as a mobile DJ, and the kids would come up to me and say, you got any Boston or Kansas or Led Zeppelin? And I'm like, yeah, I got about 40 of them here. I was just surprised that they would ask for that kind of music, which you really can't dance to. It's fun to listen to. But I was thinking, why would they be asking for that music? And then I thought, all their parents, much like me, that's what they listen to, and so they, so my sons listen to classic rock, and I force feed them it. <laughs> but they're still listening to Boston and Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. Excellent. All right, now one quick one. How, tell us what club you're from and how long you've been a member. I'm from the Park City Toastmasters. Been a member for about a year and a half. And uh, maybe uh, have you got any uh, current uh, role you're playing in those I'm clubs? Sergeant at Arms and uh, competent communicator. Becky? Salt Lake Hardware Club, three years since we started, since we chartered. Excellent. Scott? Turn Community Services, Club 6318, and I've been there about six years, and I've had various jobs. Right now, I'm Assistant Sergeant to Arms. If um, people know our club, we have people with disabilities, and, and one of the individuals wants to be Sergeant to Arms, and I, I assist him with uh, setting up the room and some other things. So. Great. Well, let's give our... Uh, Paul Tails contestants, a uh, nice. <laughs> All right, let's bring our humorous speech contestants up here. this way. Tell us about being a geek consultant. Well, I have a, my own company as well. Uh, it's called Axis. I deal with all kinds of equipment that uh, are used by people who are blind or low vision. I sell talking computers and other things, braille devices, you name it, anything that uh, a person might use, including talking cell phones and that it can actually make phone calls. I've done that for about 18, 19 years now. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Darius. And your bio sheet. We well, you know you two are a geek, but let's see. <laughs> I want to hear about your artificial intelligence. Oh no, that's the government. Hold on. <laughs> game developer. You're a game developer. Tell us about that. I, well, I do it mostly as a hobby, hoping to move it into a full time job at some point. Uh, it's just a fun way to fill the evenings and create. Uh, 
just express creativity. Excellent. And finally, uh, Stacy. You guys didn't think I could pronounce your name, did you? No, you, you did it perfect. Thank you. Congratulations, and let's see. You wrote a book, it says. Yes. Called Confessions of a Band Geek Mom. Yes, I'm a Tell us about that. Well, my kids are geeks, but they're band geeks. And like if you have children in soccer or football or swimming or dance or whatever, that activity takes over our lives. And that's not what we expected at this point. And so... It's funny all the different things that can happen to a family when you have to get them to rehearsal and competitions and uh, concerts and what have you. So it ended up filling up a book, and it's pretty funny. It's Tina Fey meets Utah Band Geek Mom. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carl, tell us about your role in your uh, Toastmaster Club. Well, I'm a member of the Taxmasters Club. I've been in there for about 10 years, maybe. Almost, and I'm currently the president. Excellent. Uh, Darius? I'm a member of the Salt Lake Hardware Club. I've been there for about a year. I've been with Toastmasters about three years, and I'm currently the president. Stacy? I've been in Toastmasters twice. I was in Toastmasters in California about 18 years ago, and then I took an 18-year break. Or, well, four, not 17 year break, and then uh, this time around I've been in Toastmasters for a year. It's gone quick, but it's been about a year now. Are you serving in any role? Not currently, sure. but I plan to. Excellent. Okay, did I see? I appreciate it. Let's give another round of a hand for their. <laughs> Looks like the. Ballot counters are all back, is that correct? Yes, they are. Excellent. Okay. We still have the certificates. We got <laughs> oh, okay. We do have uh, announcements. Who's got some announcements? I do. <laughs> Go ahead, whoever, uh, come on up here and give us the announcements. Yeah. Uh, Don is one of our conference chairs, and so is Susan. It is on the 4th and 5th of November. We'd like to see you all there. It's going to be exciting. We've got Brad Barton on Friday night, who's going to give us all the magic that he can. Gary Schmidt is the past international director. He's coming to do keynote speeches and educational sessions. We have so many educational sessions, you're not going to be able to choose which one to go to. We would like to see you all there. It will be exciting. We also have silent auctions. If any of your clubs or areas have any contributions you want to do to a basket, bring it. It helps to offset the, the cost of the contest. And the conference, Salt Lake Airport, Hilton, am I right? We have some forms on the table here, some flyers. Please come. It will be exciting. It's right here in Salt Lake. You don't even have to travel very far. Thank you, Mr. Tuckmaster. That was what I was going to talk about. She did a, a fine job. So I have no, no announcement. <laughs> Anybody else? Did you say you have something? Come on up. Just a very quick announcement. Next Saturday afternoon, Division C will hold their humorous speech and tall tales contest at the Jeremiah's restaurant in Ogden. Very easy to get to, right off 12th Street. We'll feed you if you come. And it'll probably be a lot easier to find a parking place. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you.
tall tale. We, uh, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, I hope. We're going to do the Tall Tales uh, contest winners first. So, looks like in third place we have Scott Watson. Second place, we have Becky Chrisman. <laughs> and not to keep you in suspense, <laughs> but we've got David Bullock. Cancel my flight to New York for that. <laughs> it's right there by the airport. So you, you know, Letterman can reschedule you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I will go now go to the humorous speech contest. In third place goes to Carl Smith. place goes to Darius Outerkirk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have probably. <laughs> <laughs> Just noticed the presenter and he sneezed aside him on a date. Is that you, Scott? That's me. <laughs> Okay, first place, we'll go to Stacy Domalski. So bring your certificates to me and I'll sign them date them for you. <laughs> all right, that's all we have. Anybody have anything else? We will adjourn this contest. Thank you very much for your participation and attendance. Thank you.